For those of you who love to collect the colours, Manchester City in blue, Newcastle in black and white. And we're all ready to start this 1955 Cup Final with Manchester City kicking off. There's Melbourne. Now Little. Paul. Casey to Melbourne, number eight for Newcastle. There's Revy with him. Notice how deep Revy is. Up to White. White to Melbourne. And a corner kick. Corner to Newcastle. Ready to be taken by White. Milban. Five seconds play, Newcastle United in the lead, one goal to nil, and Ward Jackie Milburn has done it again. A header from White's corner. Throw in for Manchester City. Taken by Spurdle. Schooler. And a corner kick. Well, <laughs> let's see whether Manchester City can do it with a right wing corner. Ready to be taken by Spurdle. That a trip on Hannah gives a free kick to Newcastle, taken by Stocker. Spurdle, Stocker for Newcastle, now Mitchell. Mitchell number 11. Schooler number 4. And a throw in to Newcastle. Schooler, Keeble, Schooler. Little. Up to Barnes. Throw to Manchester City, Barnes there. The right half, a replica of Joe Mercer, bandy legs. Meadows. Hannah, very dainty ball player to Casey, from Barnes from Manchester City to Johnston. Little Johnston, Paul Barnes, number four. Now Hannah. Casey. Casey to Keeble. And this could be dangerous. Mitchell's there. Mitchell. And a goal kick. Goal kick to Manchester City. Troutman, the first German ever to play in a cup final. Milburn. Now little to Revy, number nine. By Batty, notice Batty. You can always tell Batty he's got uh, a plaster around his left wrist. Hands by Casey. Free kick to Manchester City. Barnes to Spurdle, who is offside. Mr. Husband immediately raised his flag, so it's offside. Free... There's Jackie Milburn, the man who scored the sensational goal after 45 seconds. Five minutes gone now, Newcastle 1, Manchester City 0.
Mata. Stocko, Bobby Johnston with him. Just remember the two Manchester City inside forwards keep well up as centre forwards. There's Revy. Meadows. Throw in to Newcastle. Casey, Hannah, Batty, Keeble, Hanna, Melbourne, Schooler, Ewing. Now away goes Fagan. And Fagan blatantly obstructed. Gives a free kick to Manchester City. Not so much obstruction, that was uh, an out-and-out -out foul. He was pushed right off the ball as he was bursting through. And it's Paul going to take the free kick. Fagan. Revy. It's and that was Hayes who missed it. Probably Hayes was put off by the fact that Revy let the ball go and Hayes had to shoot in a hurry. Goal kick to Newcastle. Keeble to Hannah. Number 10 to Mitchell. Number 11. And Meadows. Meadows up to Spurgeon. Simpson played for Great Britain in the 1948 Olympics when he was an amateur. Mitchell. Keeble calling for it. Yes, Keeble. Up to Revy. Now Hannah. Hannah to Milburn. But it's Revy. Manchester City deep lying centre forward up to Hayes. Up to Casey. Casey to Schooler. Meadows to Barnes. Cowell. Cowell out to White. Little for Manchester City, and it's a throw in to Manchester. Number six, Paul, the skipper, Welsh International, a great driving force, a great skipper. Revy to Barnes. Batty to Mitchell for Newcastle. Batty. It's a bad one to Bobby Johnston. Johnston through to him. Hayes. Barnes. Spurdle. Johnston offside. This Newcastle United's 10th final, which is a record for the Football Association Cup. Casey, number six. Schooler. White. Chapman out to Spurdle. Spurdle to Johnston. Johnston to Hayes. Stocker with him. And somebody is hurt. That's a nasty cut eye which is going to reduce, I think, Manchester City to ten men. No, Spurdle still playing on despite a an eye which is bleeding. A 
know that. Uh, not a nice way to start a Wembley Cup final, especially when you're a last-minute choice. Barnes to Spurdle. Revy has moved up. He's there on the right. Spurdle tripped by Casey. Free kick to Manchester City. Who, with ten minutes, the first half gone, are trailing by one goal to nil. Scored after 45 seconds by Jackie Milburn. Meadows. And out by Schooler to White. Throw in to Newcastle. Schooler. Milburn. Schooler. Ewing. Stocko up to a scholar. Casey. Milburn. Hannah. Schooler. White. Hannah. White. Barnes there for Manchester City, and it's a throw into Manchester City. Paul, Barnes, number four to Revy. Well, that's the Manchester plan with Revy lying deep, pushing the balls through the middle for either Hayes or Johnston. Keeble back to Schooler. To Mitchell. Corner kick. Mitchell probably held that ball just a fraction of a second too long. Mr. Leaf there looking very natty in his cherry red outfit. He almost like the Hungarian footballers. Mitchell. And that was thanks to Mr. Little off the line. Back to Schooler. Paul out to Fagan. Who's been in. This is his third cup final. He was headed 1951 and 52. Schooler. Schooler to Mitchell. Throw out to Revy. Johnston. Johnston to Hayes. Hayes to Spurdle, but it's a throw in to Newcastle. Castle worrying Manchester City by this quick switching of the game from one wing to the other, especially Schooler out to Mitchell. Casey to Hannah. Little Hannah, number 10. That's a present from one Irishman to another to Fagan. Goal kick to Newcastle. Well, the Newcastle supporters behind uh, Simpson's goal making an awful noise, and I noticed the Manchester people uh, over on the far side being strangely quiet as yet. Now Hayes, Hayes to Revy. Certainly, City not clicked into anything like their normal form. Casey from Newcastle to Hannah. And as the Bladen races sing out, it's Meadows coming away from Manchester City. Now Hannah. Anna to Mitchell. To Milburn. Hannah. Now Meadows for Manchester. Schooler. Batty. Now Paul, see whether he can infuse the usual class into this Manchester team. Fagan up to Johnston. Stocko out to White and it's Newcastle. 
Now Johnston again for Manchester City. Spurdell is offside. He's offside. Mr. Husband, the linesman on this side, in beautiful position once again. Up went his flag immediately. Free kick to Newcastle, Stocko, Mitchell. Troutman to Little. Little to Revy. And Hayes has run offside. It's come back. Casey. Now Little. Little out to Fagan. Spurdle. Casey out to Mitchell. Mitchell to Hannah. Ball there for Manchester. Little Hannah, you can't shake him off the ball. His long legs of Melbourne out to White. Melbourne. Well, certainly so far the critics have been confounded. It's Newcastle showing the football, but here's Revy for Manchester. Up to Johnston. Cowell, Skula, there's that crossfield ball again to Mitchell, number 11. Back to Skula, and a goal kick to Manchester City. 16 minutes gone, Newcastle United 1, Manchester City 0. Kula, Keeble, number nine, back to White, and Paul. Well, that was almost the greatest headed goal I've ever seen at Wembley, but unfortunately it was Roy Paul heading towards his own goal. Corner kick to Newcastle. White. Mitchell. It's and a trip by Hannah on Troutman. A little bit of over eagerness there. Free kick to Manchester City. Stocko. Mitchell, number 11. <laughs> Hannah. And Meadows is hurt. Meadows is badly hurt by the corner flag, rolling in agony. So let's hope that Jimmy Meadows, an English international who's going on the tour with the England team, will soon be all right again but it's a corner to Newcastle he's a great goalkeeper this man Trump out to Paul Paul to Fagan Fagan to Revy he turns up everywhere this man to Barnes Revy Little. Pagan to Johnston. Johnston to Revy. To Johnston. But of course, Manchester City are one man short, and that's where that man should have been, because Spurdle has dropped back now to wing half. Barnes there, dropped back to fullback.
to Spurdle, number seven. To Johnston. Out to Fagan. It's a corner. 20 minutes gone, Manchester City, one goal down to Newcastle, but fighting back now. Jimmy Meadows, I notice, is on his feet, but hobbling painfully, he's even sat down again. Bacon with the corner for Manchester City. Spooler to Keeble. Keeble to White. To Keeble. Jackie Milburn streaking down the middle. And there's White with Paul. Out to Little. Casey to Anna. Spurdle. Milburn to Mitchell. These two terrible twins of this Newcastle team. And a goal kick. There's poor old Jimmy Meadows. He looks in a very bad way walking like that. I have a feeling that he's going to the dressing room and that's the last we're going to see of Jimmy Meadows. To Revy. Revy to Paul. To Revy. To Fagan. But Carl there for Newcastle. It's a throw in to Manchester City. And Jimmy Meadows getting a sympathetic cheer from the Manchester fans as he's taken to the dressing room. Throw in to Manchester Paul, to Revy, to Little. Stocko. Stocko to Milburn. Mil Milburn to White, but little there for Manchester. Out to Mitchell. Throw in to Newcastle. Mitchell to Casey. Number six to Hannah, number ten. Schooler, number four. To Mitchell. And again it's little there for Manchester. Now Hannah. To White. Well, obviously, all sorts of little gremlins bobbing up out, out of the turf in that Manchester City goal mouth. Goal kick to Manchester City. Throw in to Manchester City, who, after 25 minutes, are a goal down to Newcastle United and also a man short now. Manchester City's throw. Johnston to Revy. Johnston. To Barnes, a lovely piece of football. To Revy. And it's a good job that Simpson didn't cut his fingernails this morning. Out to White. White to Skula. To Hannah. To Mitchell. Throw to Newcastle. No, Mr. Leaf says it's to Manchester. And elbowing by Hannah on Revy, free kick to Manchester City. Now Milburn, number eight for Newcastle. Keeble, and Keeble tripped by Paul. Free kick to Newcastle. There's Keeble on the left. School are going to take this one. We Bobby Johnston. Now White. 
White up to Keeble. A great chance. He's onside. A lot of people thought he was offside, but Spurdle was putting him about two or three yards onside. Spurdle right on the far, the other side of the field. Goal kick to Manchester City. Batty. Mitchell to Keeble. Barnes. Barnes to Revy, number nine. To Hayes. And Hayes again was well onside. Bobby Johnson's in the middle for him. Well, that sort of an, an attack shows you how fast this Manchester City side can turn defence into attack with this brilliant football that they can play. Fagan holding Cowell off the ball gives away a free kick to Newcastle. Schooler up to Hannah. But Ewing there for Manchester City. Now Revy. Revy to Barnes. To Fagan. Goal kick to Newcastle. Stocko to Hannah, number 10. It's Keeble. Keeble to Mitchell. White is offside. Little. A spurtle. Spurtle to Barnes. A schooler for Newcastle. Mitchell. Schooler. Milburn. Those long legs of his again up to White. Hannah. And up goes the linesman's flag. A trip by Paul on Hannah gives a free kick to Newcastle. Paul going right into the tackle, taking the opponent's leg. Schooler to take it. Half an hour gone. 30 minutes gone. Newcastle 1, Manchester 0. Milburn again. Up to Hayes. Unknown at the beginning of this season. Barnes with the throw in. Casey. Hayes. Hayes to Spurdle. Now it's still in play. And offside against Johnston. Bobby Johnston pointing at Stocko, but of course, Stocko overtook Johnston. When the ball was last played, Johnston was definitely a yard offside. Keeble, Keeble to Hannah. Revy, Revy to Fagan, Fagan to Johnston. Everybody oohed, but that was an excellent pass by Carl. It's the only thing he could have done. He 
kept possession for his own side, which is the main thing in this game of football. Now Barnes. Johnston. Spurdle. There, the hopeful Manchester supporters telling everybody that if the goalposts had been eight feet one inch high, it would have been one all now. Mitchell, number 11. Milburn. Mitchell. Casey, Casey to Schooler. Ewing to Spurdle. Now Mitchell, number 11. But Ken Barnes for Manchester City. Barnes to Johnston. Batted to Milburn, Milburn into Mitchell. Now Paul for Manchester City to Revy. To Fagan. Throw in to Newcastle. Casey. Johnston to Revy. Batty. Fall to Barnes, number four, and it's Manchester City on the attack. Joe Hayes, got 15 goals this season. All he's going to get this time is a throw in. It's going to be taken by Johnston, who played for Scotland here on April the 2nd. Hayes, Johnston. Barnes. Ten minutes before half time, Newcastle United still leading Manchester City by that goal they scored after 45 seconds. A header by Jackie Milburn from Len White's corner. Milburn's 21st goal of the season, by the way. Revy. Hayes, Revy, Barnes. <laughs> to Mitchell, who is offside. with the free kick for Manchester. Notice that they just don't kick the ball anywhere. They always keep possession of it with a short pass to a colleague. But now it's Newcastle. Melbourne out to White. Well, that, that man Troutman is as great a goalkeeper as Stanley Matthews is an outside right. Now, Barnes for City. Johnston. Barnes, Johnston, Hayes, Johnston, Fagan, Revy. Well, the City players just overdoing it there in the penalty area. Now down goes the linesman's flag because Keeble was in his own half then. Can't be offside in their own half. Now Barnes, Barnes, up to Johnston. Mitchell for Newcastle to Hannah 
And the throw in to Newcastle. Trotman getting another great cheer from the Manchester City fans who love him so much and so deservedly. Now Milburn, Milburn to Casey. Keeble! Well, no wonder Manchester City say he's worth six or seven men to them. Now Hayes for Manchester City. There's Fagan rating down the middle. Fagan number 11. Casey to Revy. Little to Ewing. Well, they're not going to pull back their one goal deficit with that sort of a pass. Ewing. Sandwiching by Ewing and Paul on Keeble. Gives a free kick to Newcastle. Schooler to Mitchell. Great Troutman out to Fagan. Revy to Johnston. Uh, but Hayes had run offside. Johnston just held that ball a little too long. They did their usual scissor movement. And Hayes darted forward, but Johnston didn't release the ball. When he did, of course, Hayes was a good three or four yards offside. Johnston, Casey number six for Newcastle to Schooler, to White, Schooler, way comes, Spurdle, crossfield ball to Fagan, Johnston, Fagan, Goal kick. It's been most remarkable so far in this half. We've had 40 minutes of it, and every time either side has tried any cross field passing, the opposing defence has got, got itself into an awful lot of trouble. Which, of course, shows the value of such a pass. Melbourne. White. Melbourne. White, Hannah, is Revy, the Manchester City centre forward. Schooler, right half, playing almost the left back position. Johnston, number 10. Schooler, Schooler to White. Hannah, number 10. White. Little to Paul. To Revy, number 9. To Johnston. And there's Joe Hayes. Uh, Manchester City appealing that Batty was obstructing Hayes, making no effort to play the ball, but Mr. Leaf won't have any of it. Uh, Johnston. He's going to... It must be a goal! Well, I don't think I've ever seen a more remarkable save. Hayes to Johnston and pushed off the ball by Stocko, a free kick to Manchester City. 
Well, that shot of Johnston's, to me, Simpson was on the ground before he shot. He dived more in hope than anger, as they say, and his luck was in. There's a Scott against the Scott, and the ball hit him, so Manchester City didn't get that equalised. Well, they're three more minutes before half-time, still down 1-0, Barnes, there's Revy. And a corner kick. And the City fans on the far side of the field, there they are. Once looking a little downhearted, but now got all their spirits back. And it's Revy taking the corner kick. He takes everything, this man. Barnes. And a little flick from Fagan could have come off. That Simpson is saying to himself, well, although we're playing against ten men, it's not over yet. Cowell. There's the crossfield pass again. But Mitchell. Mitchell to Batty. Casey. Schooler. White. Schooler. And a goal kick. Battle. Little Hannah, number ten to Schooler. Mitchell. And it was Spaddle who came across to save the day for Manchester. Corner kick to Newcastle. And something like 60 seconds or so on our watch to go before half time. Mitchell taking it. <laughs> the Newcastle supporters over to our right suddenly screamed it's there before the ball was halfway across and how nearly right they were. Now this is Keeble. He probably got a bang on his leg. He seems all right. Johnston, Vega, Ewing, Ewing to Revy, to you, uh, to Barnes. Yes, little Joe Hayes. Revy, Johnston, Fagan, Stocko, Stocko up to Paul, back to Johnston, Johnston to Hayes, Johnston, it's there! seconds before half time it's one each the depleted Manchester City side have equalized and it's Bobby Johnston who did the score Stocko to Hayes Hayes through to Johnston and Stocko there for Newcastle number five he's playing a great game There's the Don, quietly flows the Don, as they say in Manchester. Up to Fagan. Mitchell.
go to Manchester Barnes and it's all over for the first half Manchester City won Newcastle United won so it's Newcastle United to kick off and it's one all Paul number six to Spurdle who's playing fullback now for Manchester City with Meadows being off Meadows being off now Revy a Mitchell to Hannah big debuting for Manchester City Revy Barnes Batty to Mitchell A trip by Revy gives a free kick to Newcastle. Taken by Casey. Mitchell. Now it's Barnes for Manchester City. Up to Fagan. Throw in to Manchester off the head of Schooler. To Paul Johnston Hannah number ten to Mitchell Hannah. Casey to Hannah number 10 and a goal kick well I don't know what you thought but I thought Manchester City were clicking into something like their real form towards the end of the first half so we can probably look forward to a really exciting second period of 45 minutes Joe Hayes, Hayes to Fagan, number 11. Throw in to Newcastle. Paul, Paul to Barnes. Stocko, Stocko to Batty, Batty to Mitchell. Throw in to Newcastle. Keeble well Troutman's the sort of goalkeeper that any self-respecting forward would take an insurance against and Hayes number eight And as Troutman gets ready to take the goal kick, a rather sad sight of Jimmy Meadows sitting down on the trainer's bench now, limp, having limped round the track very painfully out of this great final. Paul oh, Melbourne throw in to Newcastle another throw to Newcastle
Skula. Mitchell. Five minutes of the second half gone. One all, Manchester City and Newcastle United. Ewing. Ball up to Johnston. Stocko to Skola. Stocko played a great game at centre half for Newcastle. Casey. Up to Keeble. Keeble to Hannah. White. Milburn. The corner kick. Corner to Newcastle. Going to be taken by Milburn. Who began his career as an outside right, became an international centre forward, and now an inside right. Up to Revy. Johnston. To Hayes. Hannah. Hannah to Schooler. White, number seven. Mitchell, stab. <laughs> and there is Mitchell, the scorer of Manchester Sec uh, of Newcastle United's second goal. Two one after fifty three minutes. Goal kick. Goal kick to Newcastle. <laughs> Elbowing in the back by Little on Keeble. Free kick to Newcastle. Stocko to take it. Hannah, number 10. That dreadful man, Mitchell. I say, of course, dreadful if you're not a Newcastle supporter. Now, Revy, number 9. Johnston to Revy. Now, Little. to Casey, number six. Hannah. Paul, number six, Manchester City. <whistles> Hayes, elbowing Stocko off the ball, free kick to Newcastle, Stocko out to Hannah.
Anner again. Goes Milburn. Schooler coming in like a tank. And there we see, sitting next to Les McDowell, right in the middle of the picture, Jimmy Meadows. That's him brushing his, wiping his hair. The poor man who strained a ligament after 17 minutes and is out of this game altogether. Now Milton. Back comes Revy. Revy to Barnes. Spurdle to Ewing. Barnes. sort of a ball into the penalty area isn't much good with Manchester City a forward line of midgets now Ewing Ewing to Barnes number four Schooler Schooler to Mitchell Mitchell up to Hannah and up up goes the linesman's flag but Mr. Leaf waves it away Fagan used to play for Hull City. Batty. Batty to Milburn. Keeble, number nine. Ewing. Was a close shot off the Newcastle half back line there. Now White. Ball number six for Manchester City to Revy. Barnes. Now Casey. But it's Revy number nine for Manchester City. Schooler to Hannah number ten. White, number seven. Schooler. Mitchell. Hannah. There's Hannah, number 10, the scorer, making it 3-1 for Newcastle after 57 minutes. And Newcastle now on their way to their, fifth, to their sixth cup victory. They won in 1910, 1924, 32, 51 and 51, 51 and 52. 3-1 they lead. Now White, number 7, to... Milburn. Schooler. Schooler to Keeble, number nine, to Milburn. That cross through ball again to Mitchell. White, number seven. Hannah. Casey, number six. The throw in to Manchester City. Fifteen minutes of the second half gone. Newcastle United three, Manchester City one.
Milburn, Mitchell and Hannah for Newcastle and Johnston for Manchester City. Johnston. Hayes. Throw in to Manchester City, who I'm afraid at the moment have just got a two-man forward line. It's Johnston, one of them, the other is Hayes. Milburn, Milburn to Hannah. Mitchell, Mitchell to Hannah, <laughs> obviously the Hannah must be offside, and of course if he'd stepped over the byline and gone off the field of play, Mitchell could have raced forward and taken that ball himself and it would have been all right. Johnston to Revy, Revy to Fagan, Revy to Fagan, and now by Batty to Schooler. Ewing, I think Revy may decide to play a lot more up the field. Now that his side is 3-1 down. Call number six. To Johnston. Throw to Manchester City. Mitchell. Throw to Manchester City. Barnes. Johnston. Lovely bit of football. Hayes. And a corner kick. It's Johnston going to take the corner, and the Manchester City fans still have confidence. They're cheering like anything behind this goal. Ewing to little number three. To Barnes. To Paul, who's not the sort of player to be worried about a 3-1 deficit. Fagan, number 11. John Stocker again. Casey to Mitchell to Hannah, number 10. Mitchell, number 11. To Hannah, to Mitchell. Spurdle, number 7, there for Manchester City. Johnston. A throw in to Newcastle. Casey. To Hannah. Mitchell, Hannah. Lovely football from that left wing.
throw to Manchester. 20 minutes of the second half gone. Newcastle United 3, Manchester City 1. And it's ready for Manchester City. Fagan. Again it's Stocko. No wonder he can keep players like Brennan Patterson out of the Newcastle side. Little to Fagan. Paul, Revy. White to Keeble. Schooler to White. Schooler number four. Paul number six for Manchester City. Revy number nine. And the trouble is Stocko just doesn't miss him. to Johnston and offside Hayes offside Jimmy Schooler probably already feels now that he's got at least one hand on the cup Ewing to Little, Paul, Ewing, Cowell, Cowell to Casey, Milburn, Paul to Revy, Barnes, Casey out of Mitchell. Mitchell, Hannah. Made a great left wing, these two. A Revy. Barnes, number four. Paul had the ball in between his legs and I think he's hurt. Free kick for Newcastle United. Schooler. Paul obviously quite fit again. Fagan. Now Milburn. Mitchell and this time he's offside Newcastle United certainly deserve full credit for the way they've exploited this crossfield pass they've done it most accurately and most effectively Milburn Barnes, Barnes to Fagan, number 11. Schooler to Stocko. That's a little Hannah, Casey. There's a crossfield pass again, this time to White. To Milburn. Hannah, Milburn. Hannah, Milburn, Mitchell, Casey, White, out to Revy. And a 
goal kick. Goal kick to Newcastle. Twenty minutes left for play. Newcastle United three, Manchester City one. Be a great feat if Newcastle win the cup the third time in five years. Stocko, uh, Schooler to Milburn. Throw in to Manchester City. Little to Revy. Barnes to Revy. Number nine. The way goes Hayes darting down the middle. But it's out to Johnston. And Batty is there. Spurdle to Johnston. And Hannah. That I think shows the horrors of being in two minds. Ball. Back to Little. Barnes. Revy. And now Milburn. Milbert to White. Well, even with one hand. Now up to Barnes. Up to Hayes, who is offside. Mitchell. Casey, Keeble, Casey, Schooler, Newcastle doing rather just what they like at the moment. Mitchell, a uh, mid one, is there. Notice how Trotman very quickly came out of his goal to narrow Milburn's ankle. No kick to Manchester City. Little to Paul, to Revy, Hannah, Hannah again, Mitchell, Well, people said that Newcastle got to Wembley by luck, but the football they've shown here this afternoon, well, it doesn't justify any title of lucky winners. Mitchell. Spurdle. Paul. Johnston. And out of play. True, Manchester City have only got ten men. They've only had ten men since the 17th minute. But Newcastle United have played some lovely stuff. And here's Casey. Especially Hannah there. Hannah and Mitchell. Casey. Hannah. Skola, number four. White, and up goes the flag for offside. Paul, Little. Throw to Manchester City. Paul to Johnston, number 10.
Casey. Now Paul. Hayes. Hayes again. Barnes. Johnston to Little. The Manchester side completely fallen to pieces now. Spurdle, a rather Hayes, Milburn, White, Milburn, there's that tremendous long legs of Milburn, true he didn't get the ball that time but it's always been a favourite trick of his to go down on one knee, jut out that long leg of his and scoop the ball back. Just under a quarter of an hour left, Manchester City losing by three goals to one. Out to Fagan. They're on the attack, let's see if they can not rub one of them off. To Revy. To Fagan. But Stoko there, and I believe the Newcastle people prefer Stoko to Stoko. Schooler, Hannah, Milburn is standing offside, now he's put onside. There he is. Hannah, number 10. Ewing to Little. White to Casey. Schooler. Hannah, number 10. Mitchell bobbing up outside right. And no doubt the Manchester people hope that's the last time he bobs up at outside right. White to Schooler. Hannah to Milburn. There's that leg again. One feels now that the remaining ten minutes are purely a formality with Newcastle coasting home to an easy 3-1 win. Little to Fagan. Milburn. Well, it was the long leg of Little this time. To Fagan. Barnes, number four. Fagan, number 11. Johnston, number 10. And a goal kick. Somebody's just reminded me that Mr. Stan Seymour, the Newcastle United chairman, forecast that his side would win by three goals to one. Well, he's only got ten minutes left, and then he'll get a 100% correct forecast. And Mr. Seymour, by the way, uh, played for Newcastle United in the 1924 Cup final and scored one of the goals. Hayes to Barnes. Mitchell. in to Manchester City and I've just noticed that all the photographers have decided that it's all over Newcastle United have won the cup for the sixth time because they're congregating in front of the Royal Box a little Hannah Casey Milburn White 
Key ball. Love is Linardi. Manchester City defence. A little leg weary. Not knowing quite what sort of a game to play. Stoko. And the blatant races are beginning to come from the terraces behind the goal to our right. Paul. Revy. Fagan. Hayes. But Stoko there again. Revy, throw for Manchester to Hayes. Revy. Paul. Fagan, out of play. Into touch. Throw to Newcastle. Schuller. Will it a keyboard? Melbourne. <laughs> Melbourne was offside. I didn't hear the whistle blow. I was beginning to wonder what Troutman was thinking of. Revy. Up to Casey, number six. Mitchell, number 11, Schooler, Hannah, Schooler. Casey. White. Up to Schooler. Now Revy. Hayes, Revy, Mitchell, Schooler, White, number seven, and up goes the flag for offside. The offside decision was against Milburn. Paul, Johnston, number 10, Revy, Fagan, Hayes, Fagan, Revy, Fagan, Hayes. White up to Mitchell. Well, most certainly Manchester City should have had a second goal there. They had enough chances all in one basket. And that might have put fresh life into these last five minutes, the remaining time we have left. Because Newcastle leading 3-1. Keeble. Spurdell up to Johnston and Johnston elbowed off the ball by Casey free kick to Manchester City Johnston waiting for his colleagues to get up into the goal mouth they're not getting up there very very quickly Revy Hannah, now Johnston, Barnes, jo Johnston, and somebody's lying hurt there, it's a corner. I have an idea it might be Batty.
Mr. Leith, the referee there, of course, stops his watch uh, while the injured player is being attended to, and there is no loss of playing time. Well, he's all right again, so it's the corner taken by Fagan. And he's viewing the centre-half back of Manchester City up there, trying to get the second goal. Now to Keeble. Ewing, you see, is back in position. To Hannah. Now Bar. Fagan. Throw in for Newcastle United. You've just got to hold on about another three minutes and they've won the cup for the sixth time and thereby equaled the record of Aston Villa and Blackburn Rovers. Casey. Up to Keeble. And Spurdle. Spurdle number seven. Up to Fagan. Schooler, Schooler out to Mitchell. And I don't know why the Newcastle United supporters have deserted the Bladen races because they're singing now is the hour. As Hannah to Milburn. Keeble. Well, I think both of them are hurt in that. I think Little got Keeble on the head with his knee. By my watch, but of course I haven't allowed for any timeout. There's only a minute left, and the Newcastle United supporters cheering their heads off. Bobby Mitchell looking at them and waving to them as he waits to take the corner kick. Revy. Hayes. Revy. Batty to Casey. To White. And that crossfield ball again to Mitchell. And a goal kick. Schooler, Mitchell, and an indirect free kick inside the penalty area for obstruction. Sverdl obstructed, Mitchell wouldn't let him get to the ball, so although it's an offence, it's not a penalty. The goal can't be scored direct from it. Up to Fagan. Stoko once again. Out comes Mr. Leaf's watch.
throw in to Manchester City and the watch doesn't go back in his pocket so it's time any second there it is Newcastle United have won Newcastle United 3 Manchester City 1 There's Jimmy Scola being congratulated by little number three and by Roy Paul, the losing captain. So Newcastle United have equaled the record of Blackburn Rovers and Aston Villa, who have both won the FA Challenge Cup six times. There's Ken Barnes, number four. Keeble, number nine. Jackie, Jackie Milburn and Simpson and Keeble congratulating Bert Troutman who played such a magnificent game for Manchester City and Stoko who himself played such a magnificent one for Newcastle Hannah Jackie Milburn, Ward Jackie and Skola leads his men up to the Royal Box to receive the trophy from Her Majesty the Queen Jimmy Scola, Her Majesty. Here's the Stanley Rouse beside her. There it is, Newcastle. I think all the trouble's been about since last September. Batty. Bobby Mitchell, <laughs> Jackie Milburn, George Hanna, who played such a great game, and finally Simpson, now Roy Paul, Dave Ewing, the Ken Barnes, the defeated Manchester City team, receiving their medals from Her Majesty, with the Duke of Edinburgh standing there next to her. And what a tragic figure of Jimmy Meadows. Well, I, I don't think there's ever been a more tragic sight at Wembley to see Jimmy Meadows getting his medal like that. And now Bert Trotman, who probably certainly doesn't deserve a loser's medal anyway, the way he played. Reg Lee, Mr. Husband, the linesman, with his colleague, Mr. Buscombe of Cornwall.